Uh, do you want this is a good good time? Uh, unless there's anything else you want to add here, is no. there anything? On that? Um, can you talk about the smaller quote unquote uh, scare quote uh, Sadducee canon? Yeah, yeah. I it, take it, the position that the Sadducees didn't have a different canon. I know what your your thoughts right, were. Right, right. It, now, in my book, what I had brought up because it was written uh, with for the benefit of a Catholic audience because Catholics are the ones that believe that the Sadducees had a smaller canon and only espoused to the five books of Moses that they had rejected the prophets. But as I mentioned in my cross-examination with Trent Horn, I said, well, do you have any evidence prior to or contemporary with the time of Christ that the Sadducees had the smaller canon? And his response was, well, it's a general accepted belief in New Testament studies. Well, you know, that's not what I had asked him. He kind of danced around it. And then I said, is there any, uh, isn't it true that it's not until about the third century that it's Jerome and others who are the ones who theorize, you know, this. And it's funny because in the post-debate um, interview, Gary Machuda had actually said that Trent was the one that brought up Origen and Ep uh, Epiphanius. And I'm like, no, that was actually me that said that. And the argument was the fact is we don't get this understanding until the, the third century of the Christian era. And as Beckwith points out, part of the reason was because after the temple was destroyed, the Sadducees had lost their authority you know, of being the head of the temple and, and temple sacrifice. And um, there's, there are um, writings that the Sadducees and might have actually blended in with the Samaritans because they didn't really have a home. And in, and in early writings, um, they a lot of times will conflate Sadducees and, and Samaritans. And since we know Samaritans only embrace those five books— it's believed that the um, the Sadducees did as well. Well, I think later in history, the Sadducees kind of merged with the right. Samaritans. They were kind of the liberal Protestants of their day, exactly. Or the or the liberal Catholics, and you know the uh, the liberals have a lot of common cross denominations. Um, right. And the other point that I brought up to Trent, I says another thing too is that we actually have writings from the Sadducees who tried to disprove the resurrection by quoting Job. Well, Job was not one of the five books of Moses. And then Trent says, yeah, but it's believed that Moses might have written Job. But Job was not part of the Torah. That's that's the whole point. So I'm surprised that he used that argument. Well, from what I understand, what happened is, is that Josephus mentioned that they uh, didn't accept the, the, the anything besides the law of Moses. Law. Right. And in context, I think what Josephus was talking about, because he also says all Jews uh, accept the canon of the 22 books, right. is, I mean, obviously, I think that's a little bit hyperbolic because, you know, there's always going to be an aberrant sure. group somewhere, right? Maybe the Essenes, who knows? We're not even sure about them, but, We're not. you know, there might be some schismatic, you know, it'd be like saying, oh, well, the Christian scientists over here, you know, who cares? Um, you know, but... Um, uh, Origen misunderstood Josephus because yeah. Josephus was talking about oral law. And right. then I, th I think of a lot of it was also, and this is, gets even to the Malachi thing, because if you talk to a Jew, it's not so much talking about the canon, but like, where are the rules? Okay. Oh, it's from Moses. You know, that's why they're talking. About. So I, I think Origen misunderstood that. <coughs> and then um, over on top of that, because they didn't believe in angels and resurrection and stuff, mm -hmm. it's so clear in Daniel that most people must think, probably think that backs that up. But the thing is, is that um, uh, it, it doesn't, um, that, that's, that doesn't, isn't necessarily the case because the Sadducees, um, it, if you think of them as like, you know, a Unitarian minister or, or may, let's say a liberal uh, Presbyterian or or Father James Martin. It would be funny to our Catholic uh, listeners. Um, just because it's on a, um, just because it's clear in Daniel doesn't mean they can't just like wave it away as like mm -hmm. this is allegory. You know, maybe it's what the what Trent Horn does with Judith or something. You know, it's like mm -hmm. oh, is, is this you know because there's there's angels in um, in the Genesis. Torah. There's, and they yeah, and, and they and they didn't believe in angels, right? Right. So just because it's there's there's clearly angels in Genesis. So if we're going to follow that argument, then they must have not believed in the Torah too, right? Either that right. or they're they're theologically liberal. Right. Um, 
the other thing too is um, e they didn't believe in the, in, the, in the resurrection either. They allegorized that as well. And the resurrection is really clear in the, in the prophets. And so that's another reason yeah, why right. people think that they might have rejected. But what does Jesus do when, when the Sadducees um, bring up the idea of the resurrection? He doesn't correct them from the prophets. He goes back to Exodus. He goes back to the Torah and says, have you not read? And then he explains that God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he actually uses Exodus as evidence for the resurrection. Yeah, so some would think that means they didn't view Daniel. But like when Jesus is standing in front of the high priest, mm -hmm. he uses Daniel in the Son of Man passage. Right, right. Exactly. Uh, brought that up during the, during the debate. You know, why does he use Daniel? Why does... Um, he he used um, Jonah when he in front of the Sadducees when he says um, I'll be in the, just as Jonah was in the belly of the great fish for three days and three nights. Well, Jonah was part of the prophets. It was not part of the the Torah. So the books of the law, right? Uh, oh no. Um, so the so if the, the the books of Scripture were laid up in the temple, who was in charge of the temple? Yeah. It was the Sadducees. It was so. the Sadducees, exactly. It was the Sadducees that were in charge of it. And I don't think they would have only had the five books of Moses because Josephus actually says there's 22 books. He names virtually all of them, not all of them, but you know, mostly all of them. And the only way you get to 22 books is to include books in the writings, including Esther and Saul, Song of Solomon and, and the rest of them, which are enumerated later, I believe, by um, Melito and definitely by Origen. 